What's up everyone, Montana Jack here. Today we're playing Little Guardsman again. I just can't get away from it. I really can't, so <laughs> don't blame me. Part four, let's go. Level four. For all your hard-hitting, high-octane, extreme sports highlights and recaps, you're listening to the number one sports station in the sprawl. Now here's Gavin Bout Goblin Ball with your hosts, Rhonda and Peg. Oh, Rhonda, what about the outcome of last night's game, the Brawlers and the Lightning? Oh, Peg, you don't want to get me started on that. But I do. But we First, do. the big news, they finally decided on the new name for the Goblin Ball Stadium. After months of in-person and in-creature polling, the most popular name as voted by the Sprawl appears to be... The exciting Coliseum for sports. Oh, that's right. I, I helped pick I that. I don't like it. I don't. I hate it. Good point. We're split down the middle. Let us know what you think by calling the station at 555-21. We interrupt this broadcast to bring you an urgent announcement. What's up? It has just been reported that Princess Desdemona, the sole heir of late King Oswin and sovereign successor to the throne, has been reported missing early this morning. In the wake of her mysterious disappearance. That's pretty bad. That's not a good thing. Isn't she going to, like, lead the country or something? Uh, it could be important. What's that? Ah. Well, let's see here. We got plenty of diamonds and stuff, so we're going to just go on. Whoa, someone's in a rush. Where are you headed to, my little rocket? The job that I'm doing for you, Dad. What do you mean? Sorry, sir. Can't talk. Gotta go down to the guard shed to work for my... Wait a minute. Dad? What are you doing here? I thought you'd be running errands for Stryker or Malcolm or whoever. Do you have the day off? And I don't. <laughs> no. I wish. Since Princess Desdemona went missing, Councilwoman Ash is really cracking the whip. She's got me pulling double duty, doing her little odd jobs and tasks. She's acting like she runs the place. Then what are you doing here? I missed you. I guess I just wanted to come check in. Well, that's really sweet. Don't worry. Nobody knows that your daughter is covering for you at work. It's not about that. I mean, that's great and all, but are you holding up okay? Actually, excelling in a lot of ways. Really? I'm Are fine. you sure? Because I could... No, that's okay. I think I got it. Deal. Even the times when you... Yeah, those parts too. I don't know what we're talking about now, Dad. Oh, okay. You're just saying all this because the princess is missing and you're feeling all sentimental. Mm -hmm. All right, all right, I'll stop. I'm just happy to see you're here. Not for long. I'm due down at the shed. And I'm off to take down any goblin-friendly signage and pro-non-human literature across the sprawl. Not sure why, but then again, mine is not to ask, just to do as I'm told. Ah, uh, uh, Dad, I set an example for your daughter. That's all I'm saying. We are so alike in so many ways. <laughs> so long. See you at the tavern if I get off in time. See you, Dad. Oh. Oh, you can't be throwing sentimental shit at me. I will cry. Attention. What is up, Ash, I think? Nah, you might not be Ash. What's your name? Striker. Striker. Oh, God. Is this it? Did I pull a real Randy and mess up so badly you had to come down here yourself and fire me? Soldier, it's nothing like that. You did not pull a Randy. <laughs> Thank God. Yeah. Thank God. I'm here to personally approve the upgrade of the Wicked 3000. Ooh! With the princess missing and between you and me, the council's increased paranoia, the jail lever has been reinstated. You can get back in your chair now. Another lever means more work for me. Does that mean I get a pay raise? I sure hope so. That's hilarious. Seriously funny stuff. Uh, no, but now instead of determining who should enter or be denied from the sprawl, you also must correctly identify criminal threats and jail them. Any questions? <laughs> oh, yeah! 
Uh, no, no questions. Very good. You've received your briefing. Now do your duty. I probably should have learned, honestly. <laughs> the royal writ. Due to the sudden and unexplained absence of the princess, visitors should be thoroughly vetted and harassed. I mean questioned. And don't be afraid to use that delicious new gel lever. Stryker. Thanks, Stryker. You're, you're something. The city's more morale is at an all-time low today. Anyone from entertainment sector should be bumped to the front of the line. We are instituting a severe cutback on non-human entrance to the sprawl. Second-hand intelligence suggests that a goblin was behind the princess's disappearance. Therefore, we are issuing a blanket, no goblins allowed policy this week. In fact, I'll pay 12 gold for every goblin I see in the dungeon by the end of your shift. Ash. Oh, see, now that's just a little racist, Ash. I don't know if I agree. Be on the lookout for our for would be heroes and vigilantes wanting to offer their assistance in search and rescue efforts for the princess. The High Council of the Sprawl have their own plan to ensure the princess's safe return. This princess thing, people are going nuts. Have you heard about the crazy no goblins allowed policy? Let's dial that back to a more comfortable one goblin allowed. At the very least, it'll bug Councilwoman Ash Malcolm. I do like that statement. Let's do one at minimum. <laughs> Our token goblin. That's a bad joke. Oh, I shouldn't say that. <sighs> Hello there. My name is Luckface. I am a farmer from Firewall Canyon, a quaint little town just on the other side of the sprawl. Okay. I am coming into town today to sell produce I have grown with my own two hands from land that was left to me by my great goblin uncle in his will. His dying wish was that I restore the family farm to its former glory. At least, I think that is what it says. He did not have the best handwriting. Okay. Sorry. Did you say your name was Budface? Yes. Yes, I did. It is certainly not what I would have chosen to fill a characters. Do you hear this banger? Stop making such good music already! Oh. Oh. I would have liked Spencer One or even Quincy Hart. But you cannot choose your own name, am I right? You're freaking me out a little bit. You're throwing my whole perception of this game off. I don't I don't really understand. I know what they want. They'd want me to block you out immediately. Gotta expand and sell my produce in new markets. The old farm has not been doing too well as of late. I am afraid I have put my priorities into other areas like foraging and fishing. I am quite horrible at growing vegetables, but I am your goblin if you need someone to gather pine cones. I mean, are you... I, I don't doubt that you want to be here. I'm just wondering if you're in the right game, brother. You know? I'm sure you can turn things around. All it takes is a little hard work. Maybe a little too much hard work. I am not sure I am cut out for the farming life. Just look at this rice I grew. Um? May I have this? Please take it. No one would buy it from me anyway. <laughs> oh, that's sad. I'm very confused about that. Of low quality rice. Okay. Um, how do I look at my bag again? My bag? Bum, 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 bum. Oh, zero gold for that. Okay. Um, let's see. Is there anything cool I can do with him? Like, just none of these really make sense. I can use an x-ray and see what the heck he is. That sounds cool. Nope. Okay. I think that's a 33% chance. Well, let's try it again. I'm not a giver-upper. Okay. All right. Now, yep. I see. I see why I should just invest in the pink ones. Ah, uh, bummer. Bummer summer, actually. I think I've wasted too much. Let's talk some more. Aside from farming, I often fill my time talking and giving gifts to the townsfolk and other strangers I meet. Like I did with you on the bag of rice. This helps me gain favor and friendships with eventual goal of falling in love and getting married. I have not been successful at it yet. I'm 
I'm really rooting for you. I don't see anything wrong with you. Anyone likes the gifts I have given them. Let's tease them. Maybe instead of rice or pine codes, you could give something more valuable, like money or gemstones. Good idea. Do you have any? I, I. Yes, and my gemstones are for my future spouse. Get your own. <laughs> Honestly, dude, you're cool. Like you just have a cool design, and there's nothing wrong with you, really. Let's talk to Malcolm, I guess. Uh -huh. So I have a craving for mangoes. If you can get me some by the end of the day, I'll be his friend and I'll marry him. <laughs> okay, Malcolm. I'll tell him. If he doesn't, I'll still marry him. Oh. I gotta settle down already. <laughs> All right. P.S. If you didn't interrogate him twice by this point, you're not gonna know what I'm talking about. That's you're funny. You're so weird. <laughs> this game's very clever. All right, dude, I like you. I don't see any reason to not admit you personally. So, come on in. Butt face. Listen, I'm under strict rules not to let any goblins in today, but I think you're harmless enough. You may pass. Well, thank you kindly. I will be on my way now. If I happen to stop by this way again, I will be sure to bring you some more crops from my farm. Free of charge. I don't know if I want them. Well, no charge of money anyway. It might cost you a day or two. Everyone who eats my produce gets violently ill. Oh! That sounds horrible. It is. So long. There was a clear no goblin rule and you let this shitty farmer in. But maybe you were following your heart. Shitty farmer? <laughs> I mean, it was low quality. It was. And his name's Buttface. Was that the pun? I think it was. <clears throat> Magic lovers of the sprawl, please put your hands together for the one, the only, the Edward, the great magician, Alakazoo, Alakazee. Oh. And I appear. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, bro. Oh. <laughs> okay. Wait a second, this doesn't look like a little kid's birthday party. Oh wait, there's one! Excuse me, are you Becky Schneiderman? Is this your birthday party? You're dumb. I'm sitting in a hot shed all alone. Which, you know, isn't actually as bad as some of the birthdays I've had. Oh. Then I'm in the right spot. Can't believe I found my way here, especially without my glasses. Yeah, you probably need those. Your eyes are looking squinty, brother. Uh, let's talk. I have nothing to go off of. So, Becky the birthday girl, sit back, relax, and prepare to be amazed by me, the Edward the Great. The Edward the Great. Wait, but I'm not... Actually, I want to see where this is going. Same. Now, for my first trick, please pick a number between one and seven. Okay. Was the number that you're thinking of the number six? Nope. Nope. What else do you do? <laughs> I'm just going to let in a shitty farmer and then probably a shitty magician too, so woo! This has been great, Eddie, but I gotta come clean. I'm not Becky Schnauzenholder or, or whatever. My name is Lil, and this is a guard shed, and you haven't even made it into the city yet. What? Oh, rats. <clears throat> come on, the Edward. Get it together. This is all because I couldn't see where I was trying to get to. Now I'm going to be super late for this kid's party. More than likely. Uh, let's tease. I don't think Becky would mind if you showed up late. Or not at all. But then I won't get my 40 gold and slice of birthday cake. Mm, I do want that as well. Uh, I don't know why. Exactly, I feel like whipping you. It could be your appearance of ugliness. But it also just kind of sounds fun. Or I could be helpful and maybe you do have your glasses on you. Let's try that. Let's be a good human. <laughs> ah, so you're interested in the metal rings. 
They're a part of the great linking and unlinking rings illusion. I'd show you the trick, but I can't seem to get them off my belt. Well, that wasn't helpful at all. Um, I don't think I did good particularly in this uh, at all, to be honest. Woo! This is quite the this this is quite the guess. Uh, trust, trust. I hope I at least pass this round. I might fail today. I don't think I'm doing good. Ever since I pulled a bouquet of flowers from my parents' garden shop out of my sleeve, I knew I wanted to be a magician. And you're making this dream come true for me. Now, I just need to figure out how to get there without being able to read the street signs. Alakazoo, Alakazee, I'm going to be very late. <laughs> you know what? I liked you towards the end of it. Magician had a booking to get to, and the sprawl needs joy at a time like this. But since he didn't have his glasses, he didn't do a very good job providing that joy. I didn't have glasses to give him, so what the fuck did y'all want? Hello! Hello! Hi. Hello! <coughs> we would like to enter. I, I, I would like to enter the sprawl, please. I bet you would. Y'all would. And you are... Magnus the Magnificent, renowned member of the Magie's Guild. Surely you have heard of me. Magie's Guild? Nope. Nope, 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 nope. What business do you have in town today, Magnus? At the Great Library, there is an incantation in Sir... Uh... Bartholomew Inglebrook. <laughs> Bartholomew Inglebrook's third treatise on the... Um... Mm-hmm. Lunar Implications. Lunar Implications for plant magic that becomes legible but twice a year. I must see it with my own eyes. Yeah, I don't believe you. What the hell was that? What was what? You really struggled to get that out. I'm not convinced you know what you're talking about. That's true. Well, you don't sound like you know what you're talking about either. Well, now you pissed me off, okay? I don't have my extra. I could use truth spray. Or I could whip. I'm a fan of this whip. I shouldn't say that. I shouldn't. No. Okay. We're going to do truth spray. Under this robe, which disguises us so completely as Magnus the Magnificent, we're just a couple of goblins trying to get into the sprawl. What are you doing? Why are you saying this? And maybe when we're in, see a couple other gobbos to talk about what's going on in this city for folks like us. Did you get sprayed with something? Stop talking, you idiot! <laughs> what is this? What just happened? Hmm. I think I just foiled your brilliant disguise. Oh. You got us. We're goblins through and through. We're meeting up with a couple other gobbos to talk about what's going on in this city for folks like us. Y you already said that. You already said that once. What does that mean? The princess goes missing, and all of a sudden there's a no goblin order in the sprawl? What's that about? Maybe a goblin kidnapped the princess? I'd like to see the proof of that. Honestly, it's kind of a fair point. Uh, man, I could get some cash. I could if I put them both in jail. And there's a part of me that wants to, but... I don't know. I don't know if I need to yet. Uh... Needless to say, goblins are getting some especially unfair treatment all of a sudden, and there's this group called the Goblin Liberation Army that's putting down roots in the city. Oh. Don't tell her. We'll get in trouble. It's okay, Gary. Look, kid, if you let us in, I'll give you the address and the password so you can come see for yourself tonight. Oh, you're, you're already in. If there's additional things, you're already in. I had no idea this was happening in the sprawl. I'm glad you told me. 
It's a rough go for a goblin in these parts. Up against some powerful people, but you know what they say. It's not the size of the dog in the fight, it's the size of the fight in the dog. Uh, yeah, sure, that's what they've said. Mark Goblin Twain. Okay. Okay. I like me some Mark Twain, I guess. I'm gonna trust y'all. Just, I mainly want to go to your hideout. That sounds cool. Alright guys, I'll let you come in. Just don't go spreading it around. I could get in a lot of trouble for this. Hey, that's really cool of you. You're a friend to us non-humans. Whoop woo! Yes I am! Goblins are my friends! meeting at GLA headquarters. It'll really open your eyes to what's going on around here. Okay. Maybe I will. I will for sure. It's not a maybe. You ignored the rip by admitting two goblins in one turn. But on the other hand, you unlocked a new location. That's exactly what I was thinking. That really was. Salutations to you, little sister of this big, beautiful world. My journeys across this land have brought me here to your doors. What a sweet fortune have in store for me today? That I do not know. But it's a hell of a ride, let me tell you. Absolutely, brother. Uh, I I gotta say, I gotta say, that thing on your uh, hat, that looks a little uh, mysterious. Looks a little bit like some uh, devil's lettuce. You know what I mean? You uh, puff puff passing, brother? Are you? Because it looks like you might be. It looks like, look at those eyes. I think you are. I think you are. All right, cool. What are you doing here? Where have you journeyed here from? You really want to know? Yes. Oh, I've been around for a spell, always on the move. From the mountains north of Petrad, the Great Desert in the south of Marvog. Mm -hmm. Along the crystal shores of Lake Inez, past the dread Castle Kaladar and the quaint farmlands of Fireball Canyon. Wow. I've wandered through all of these many, many times, but for my money, there's no place like the sprawled. People everywhere you look leading their busy lives. Every once in a while, stop to take in how beautiful it all is. You can't buy that, little sister. I like your vibe. You're chill. You seem like a very easygoing dude. I agree. Well, my little dudette, life's been pretty good to me. Not as if someone peed on my rug. Uh, it's a weird, weird metaphor. Is that a common expression? That's exactly what I was thinking. It is where I come from. Good. Okay, then let me not make fun. Let me not make fun. Uh, who should I call about this? Ash. Let's see what Ash has to think. been a thorn in my side for years. Don't buy any of his mystical wanderer hogwash. He's just a sad vagabond without any sense of purpose. Do what you want with him, but Ooh. don't believe his lies. What lies? Man's just chilling. Back when I knew Ash, she was already bitter, jaded, and afraid of anything she didn't understand. A true <laughs> protectionist, looking to keep everyone in their own little box. I see. If she had her way, nothing would ever change or grow, and eventually we would all look, dress, and think exactly the same way. There's no, no way to live, ma'am. I agree. I kind of want to admit you already. Let's talk some more. You're really cool. Or... I don't think there's a single reason to use these at all right now. I'm not going to whip him. I mean, he's smoking in my face for sure, but I'm well, not going to whip him. Princess Desdemona has disappeared. Some say kidnapped. Some say run away. Oh, oh, let's say run away. I think she ran away. Whatever did happen, it has truly bummed me out. <laughs> yeah, dude, same. I've got more to say if you've got the ears to listen. Let's hear it. Princess Desdemona is the living legacy of the great peace brought by her late father, King Oswin. And already the fires of war are being fanned on all sides. Yeah. Do you really think war is on the horizon? Hope not. Oh, yes. 
But then again, what do I know? Just an old wizard wandering from town to town looking for a little bit of joy to put in my pocket. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, just a little joy. But everyone I've met seems so happy. <laughs> you remind me of a younger version of myself, little sister. Maybe cooler heads will prevail, but history doesn't have many examples of that. Wow, that's uh, that's actually a very good point that you make there. There's a lot of pressure to fill the void left by the death of King Oswin. Just keep your eyes open is all I'm saying. I will do, Mr. Hippie. Hippie whiz. All right, you're going in. I didn't use the gel button once. I should have on the pixelated guy. Butt face, he sucked. I'm a leaf in the wind, little sister, and you are a gentle breeze guiding me along my way. And there it is. I've reached my limit with you. <laughs> right you are. Hasta la vista, baby. I love how he doesn't give a shit. He just is going to say his piece. Hasta la vista, baby. Based on his reaction, he seemed fine with your decision. I don't think that could change no matter what. But I do like you, Echo. Lil, you've got to close down the shed for the day and come with me immediately. Oh, no. Who are you again? There's no time for your irritating brand of sarcastic millennial wit. Okay, sorry. What's a millennial? I can't believe they requested you. By now you've heard that Princess Desdemona has disappeared, right? Yep. Good. Any other week the royal advisors might have given her a day or two before sounding the alarm. But with the mucky mucks from Petrard and Marvog in town, we have to get her back before things around here get any worse. Mm. I hope nothing bad happened to her, but what does any of this have to do with me? I asked my boss the same thing. In fact, I said, why the hell would they need that piece of... You know, that's not oh. important now. What? You're jealous. Envy. Envy's a bitch, man. And that's all your ori aura is, is envy. Okay? So suck it. Do what you have to do to close up shop here, and then you're coming downtown to the city council chambers with me. Okay. All I have to do is shut that door, actually. That's it. Or that gate. Due to your middling job performance, you were paid a mere 10 gold. Honestly, it was. It was not good. Yeah, whatever. Let's get on with it. Oh, dearie my. Hello? Is anyone me? there? Uh, can somebody tell me why I've been summoned? Lilith, guardian of the Southern Gate, step forward into the light. You're dramatic. Okay. What is this? Who are you? Can somebody please tell me what exactly is going on here? Will, you have been chosen. To play the hit game that's sweeping the sprawl. That's right, it's time for... So you think you can save us? Princess! Uh, 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 uh. What the hell is going on? Uh, that's right, Lil. Today you're getting the chance to send one of these lucky adventurers on the escapade of a lifetime to search for and rescue your beloved Princess Desdemona. I don't like your voice particularly, but glamorous outfit, man. Glamorous. I didn't ask to do this. And let's find out who those lucky adventurers are. Adventure number one is a hard-headed, go-getting warrior from the desert plains of the alluring Marvog Empire. Please welcome Neo War Killer. Oh. Adventure number two is a nomad by nature, mage by profession, who likes the rain and getting caught in a pina colada. It's Articulous Flame Hands. <laughs> Okay. And 
finally, adventurer number three. You might recognize this thief from their wanted poster. Wanted dead or alive for looking so darn good, let's hear it for Perry Shoutsen! I don't... I still don't fully understand what's happening. And no heroic voyager would be complete without a shadowy figure pulling the strings from the darkness. So let's welcome our sponsors, Lieutenant Striker, Councilwoman Ash, and Court Jester Malcolm. I'm rooting for you. Might makes right. Focus and the day will be ours. Information is power. I see. Aim for the knees and bite, bite, bite. <laughs> okay. That was a now moving live. speech. You're going to get the chance to ask these adventurers a series of questions to determine their suitability for this quest. At the end of the third round, you choose the winner of the grand prize, being sent on a perilous mission to save the princess, a few guaranteed brushes with death, and... a coupon for an all-you-can-eat dining experience at Monty's, home of the soup. That sounds pretty good. Ooh. Ooh. Dad does love Monty's. Sure. Let's do this. Round one. All right, Lil, what would you like to ask our trio of intrepid would-be heroes? Uh, what's your favorite ice cream? If you were an ice cream flavor, what flavor would you be and why? And who would you like to ask? Uh, not him. I think I want to hear Shoutson. No contest. Mint chocolate. Period. Ugh, brother, ugh. <laughs> you can ask another adventurer if you like. I do. I want to hear all of them. Blood and sweat and tears. A swirly ice cream cone made up of these three true flavors. Fair. I don't want to hear any more from that. That was gross. And your second question is? Waylaid by bandits. Uh, deal with magic users. I don't give a crap. I want these ones. Perfect first date. Let's say you save the princess and she falls in love with you. What's your ideal first date? And who's that one for? Uh, let's go with you, Articulus. A day filled with wonders. Vanda a musical comedy, perhaps some light shopping, and of course, a delicious meal. Afterwards, we find a nice little spot in the park, and I will dazzle the senses with a magical display of fireworks created by my elemental magical powers. Yeah! That's a great date idea. You can ask another adventurer if you like. I do, I do like, yep. Uh, let's go, Perry. Here we go. We break into the Museum of Modern History here in the Sprawl. The security's a joke. We steal the crown and scepter of King Oswing that's housed there. We split the profits 50-50, shake hands, and go our separate ways. What a date. <laughs> <laughs> that answer displayed a lack of honor, courage, and strength. I would have pummeled you with my response. Yeah, I doubt it. Let's stick to the format, folks. There's a rich tradition we're preserving here. Please, wait your turn. Hmm. A warrior does not wait his or her turn. He or she acts. All right, Neil, calm down now. Hmm. Oh! Hmm. You are gaslighting me and the berserker spirits of my ancestors, Mike Melroy. Uh-oh. Looks like the warrior has entered the heightened state of berserker mode. Yeah, it's making everything blurry. Lil, which contestant do you think will be able to get us out of this dilly of a pickle? Let's go with Perry. Don't look at me. Or you can try, but I'll be out of here. Smoke bomb. Blood rage. <laughs> I didn't think I could die from the game show. I am bad. Uh, why do I suck at games? Uh-oh. Lil, which? I guess we're going with you, Articulus. Neil, gotta keep it together for just a few more seconds. You, what's your favorite animal? 
Uh, let's go with the moose. What? A moose? That's too big! I'm not licensed to conjure anything bigger than a bread box! A bread box, Lil! Blood. Why is that even a death conversation? <laughs> Do a squirrel. Neil, look at this little fella. <sighs> I, I, I feel the blood rage calming. I can't murder everyone present in front of something so small and perfect. I am calm. Okay, good. Good. Whew. I'm glad you didn't pick anything larger than a bread box. I'm not licensed for that. Yeah, I know now. <laughs> Trust me, I know now. I do. Due to that unscheduled outburst, we are a little tight for time. Lil, do we squeeze in one more round, or are you feeling ready to chew? Uh, one more. I think I got one more round in uh, me. Should have picked Freak Out. Lil, what's your final question going to be? Uh, favorite childhood memory. What's your favorite childhood memory? And you're asking? You have one more chance, Neil. I received my first battle scar when I was five. You can see it here, across my cheek. I can't actually. Recess was a tough trial for all Marvagian children. As I rained blows down upon that third grader, I smiled. I knew even then that I would never forget this glorious day. You can ask another adventurer if you like. Yeah, yeah, let's go, Articulus. I was visiting my father at Castle Caladar on that infamous day Froderick Frankenstein conducted his great experiment. I was enraptured. I couldn't help myself. I got too close. I was struck by the alchemical lightning he had captured. Everyone panicked, screaming, veiling as I was lifted into the air. But I was fine. Better than fine. That was the day I realized my powers as an elemental mage, able to harness the raw powers of the earth. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Uh-oh, you know what that means. I have no idea what that means. This is so stupid. A little. You're stupid. That sound means it's time for the lightning round! Lil, please choose the adventure that you'd like to see play the lightning round. Perry, let's do it. All right, Perry, are you ready for the lightning round? I am. Too bad. Looks like that wasn't as enlightening as we'd hoped. <laughs> I just murdered him. Oh, no. Oh, my God. That wasn't real, right? Uh-oh. You know what that sound means. Oh, God. Not again. My conscience can't take much more of this. That sound means we are out of time! All right, Lil, now's your moment of truth. Who do you want to choose to rescue Princess Desdemona? I was gonna go with Barry. I really, really was. Why would I talk to y'all? I don't like any of you. Can I pick Rogue? Well, you can't, cause he's dead. Now choose again. Good point. Uh, all right, well, out of y'all two, it's Articulus all day. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, humans and otherwise, the winner of So You Think You Can Save a Princess and proud owner of an all-you-can-eat dining experience at Monty's Home of the Soup is Articulous Flame Hands, the mage! Good job. Uh -huh. Wonderful child. Well chosen. Shut up. And that's all for us here today. Please help control the pet population, have your gargoyle spayed or neutered. So long, everybody! Okay. No idea what happened. Just, um, that was crazy. And then I had to choose who the heck was going to rescue Princess Desdemona. It was the craziest thing. 
And don't even get me started on the lightning round. <laughs> you have the most vivid imagination, Lil. Why doesn't anybody believe me about these things? I have to end here today, but I enjoyed the absolute snot out of that. I think I'm going to go to the Goblin Hall at the beginning of next episode. So, I love you all so, so much. Please like, subscribe, comment, do all those wonderful things for me. Take care.